very often even students at university studying physics don't get taught about quantum entanglement. It wasn't, it was deemed as rather extreme uh, sort of uh, uh, weirdness of quantum mechanics. Mm. Even Einstein didn't like entanglement. But we're realizing it's quite fundamental. The basic idea is that you have two particles. Now, a, a single particle can be in a superposition of two states. Let's say an electron can be spinning in two different ways. We call it spin up and spin down. Yeah. The vague, the rough classical analogy is to say it's spinning clockwise and anticlockwise. If it's in a superposition, it's doing both at the same time. Don't even try to figure out what this means, but it, just for a particle to spin clockwise and anticlockwise at the same time just doesn't make sense at all. But that's what a quantum superposition would mean. Now, if that particle is interacted with another, that electron with another electron, then the fate of the second one becomes intertwined with the first. Mm. So if the first one is in a superposition of spinning both ways at once, the second one's also spinning both ways at once. And measuring one will instantaneously change the state of the other one. So we talk about those two electrons as being quantum entangled. And they would hold this quantum entanglement provided they're not disturbed and the entanglement destroyed, however far apart you separate them. And this is being tested. Absolutely. I mean, this is something that's it's, it's well established now. I mean, maybe weird. 